Well, hello, everybody. I'd like to introduce you to my muse, Mr. Ben Williams. Well, that was sweet. <laughs> oh, see a lot of good friends online. Thank you guys for joining us. It, uh, we're hoping this is going to be a, uh, a good night and uh, some, some old music and some new music and uh, something everybody uh, can take, take a piece of and enjoy for sure. Absolutely. So yep. I guess the first thing, Ben, is why did we ditch the name Ham? Oh, well, um, I know how much you love the name, for sure. <laughs> I think we regretted uh, it pretty much are, instantly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those of you who may be joining us or watching later online and, and don't know, uh, Winston and I had a band called Ham back in uh, the late 90s and, and kind of made our way around Tuscaloosa and, and uh, uh, various and sundry other parts around uh, the great state of Alabama. But uh, Ham was it was our name. It was just, and when, and when it was ham uh, for a good while it was winston and i and uh bart styes and lee shelton bart was playing bass with us and uh, lee on drums mm -hmm. um originally though winston and i started off as ben and winston um that's right yeah played the uh, bean tree several yeah the bean tree mm -hmm. i remember uh chris jinx came in one time and said hey uh, i've got this place for you to play you guys need to check it out and uh and it just kind of took off from there mm -hmm. so ben and i met uh, at the uh eventually Yep. I'm sorry, go ahead, yeah. No, go ahead. Okay. I, well, Ben and I met at the uh, Wesley Foundation, actually. And I remember, uh, I think it was Dave Grady or somebody uh, called and said, hey, there's this new freshman guy here who wants to play guitar. And I was like, okay, whatever. you know. And I go over there, and I was like, okay, this uh, this might work. But it, it was funny because Ben and I had, like, one song that we knew together. Like, like he knew a bunch of John Prine. He knew some Mac McAnally and some James Taylor. I had the REM and the U2 and all that. And so we had one song in common maybe, but it grew from there. And it had to be, it had to be by Cracker. I, I'm, I'm convinced it was a Cracker song. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Who knows which one yeah. it was. I introduced you some good stuff but, and you uh, introduced me to some good stuff. So. Yep. Yep. And the rest was, as they say, yeah. history. So, Let's um, talk about, go ahead. so a little bit, yeah, I was going to say about the new project, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so, all right. So this summer, as I'm, I'm sitting in the basement uh, and, and alone and here and, uh, you know, at the house like everybody else is, um, I kind of got a wild hair. And, and there was a song that we had on our um, uh, on the, the CD that we actually recorded called Icarus. And uh, it was it was one of my favorites and, and, and kind of I think it was a good one. And so I just kind of got a wild hair and just decided to re-record the song. Right. Uh, so after I touched it up a bit, um, I sent it up to to Winston. I sent it up to you and, and said, "Hey, you know, check it out. What do you think? What would you change?" And that sort of thing. And uh, and you did, and you freshened it up even more, and said, "Hey, we have all these songs that we had back in the day. Tell them about the the album that never that never happened." Yeah. So we recorded a demo of some stuff with the full band because um, we you know we had our first we had an album and that album was really just Ben and Winston. Um, Bart and Lee didn't really play on it, but then we uh, we were working on some stuff, and we had some new songs, and they were really, I think, some of our best stuff was was really toward the end there, um, and we went and, and did a demo of it at uh, at like three thousand BPM, you know, because when you would listen back to it, it's like oh, it's so fast, it's like it's like death metal acoustic, you know. <laughs> it was so fast. It was so fast. Oh yeah. my gosh. But we never finished them, and the, the tapes would... were gone, and and so and so we decided to pick it up, and so there are three or four, I think there's three songs from that that lived on and are on this, and that'll be the first one you hear in a minute, um, is is from 1996 that we we wrote together, and then one song, All right, so... parts of it we kept, and and it was kind of reconfigured. Go ahead. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I think uh, we had one that was uh, that was kind of refreshed, and that, well, I shouldn't even say refreshed. It was reimagined completely, uh, and that's on the that's on the B side for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, you want to? Uh, and hey, listen, if you like, I said, if you're joining us, please comment. We want to hear from you. We want to see what you think about the songs. Uh, if you have any memories of when we were playing back in the day, or uh, I think Mark Harvard posted a great question. You know, what was your favorite place? Uh, maybe that you saw us play or if you know anything you got uh, we would definitely love to hear from you we're glad you're with us uh, and uh, definitely enjoy the music you want to set up this uh, this first song yeah sure so um, like I said this one's left over from the 90s um, 
it you know the uh it's a kind of a mashup of some different stories and experiences um so but it's it's a true i think ben and winston song we i remember sitting to wesley and writing this song and uh, and it turned out it was a good song back then and I, I love it now how it turned out um let's let's take a listen to this one this is called your kind of guy Once in a while It's been a long, long time Since the days back in high school Girl, you always had style Well, I knew you But not very well See, you always liked me But you never showed me How was I to tell We got some catching up You're gonna have to let me through I wanna have you hold you and get to know you Girl, give me a try I don't know if I ever told you But I'm your kind of guy This one cat Sometimes a couple of hours is all you need to find a little romance. We got some catching up to do. You got. Tell us, uh, tell us what you like about that one. Uh, actually, I was just reading what Chris Jinks was writing <laughs> on there. Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, so all right, so part of the process of recording this thing uh, we haven't really touched on mm-hmm. is that uh, is that you and I kind of sat in our separate homes uh, and Except recorded right our, our 
you know, individual parts. Yeah, exactly. I, I sat in my basement and I would be down there if my internet was better, but down there, but apparently I get a little better signal up here. Anyway, uh, so we, um, you know, we exchanged files, uh, or shared a garage band file and it was just, you know, you'd play a guitar part. I'd come in and play some keys or guitar or bass or, you know, whatever. Uh, and part of the fun of this whole thing is the, uh, is the drum automation programming, whatever that, uh, you know, I kind of swapped out doing some of it. There's a, there's a part that goes right into the chorus, um, that we, uh, really kind of touched up. It's like, that 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 kind of deal. It's a little roll, almost like a, like a 16th note kind of mm-hmm. thing that, um, that pulls right into the chorus. Um, and being able to tweak that, that, uh, kind of one and a two, you know, those, the one and the two to really pop and then the others yeah. to roll back. Yeah. I just, mm-hmm. every time it comes up, I'm just like, that is yeah. so much. I love that little role. Uh, yeah, that's a good, it's a, it's a good one. It's fun. It's upbeat. Uh, Mark commented a second ago. So I was like, this one's laid back, and, you know, from when it was yeah. like, yeah. Cause like you said, we were playing at like 3000 BPM. Yeah. Uh, when and we, could, fact, when we could do that speed <laughs> next week on the second half of this, I started off with a live version from us playing that at the, uh, Talladega super speedway garage playing All right. that song. So you'll hear how we used to do it. Good My favorite thing is coming out of that bridge. I, mean, it, I just I loved all the uh, to add in the little. I just heard a bunch of little licks in between. I thought let's add just a little bit of you know guitar licks to kind of liven it up, and that was a lot of fun to do. Oh yeah, it's fun. It's 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 almost got like this because um, you know I play I play the little the little did it mm-hmm. at the very beginning, and it's consistent. But I think the part you're talking about, and I dig it too, is is where like between each of the little uh, yeah. phrases, the, the the lyrical phrases. Uh, and, and I've gotten to know, cause I've listened to this thing a million times already yeah. and I've gotten to know each one of those little licks. I'm like, here comes the one that, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that's fun stuff. And man. you know, what's that's nice is that stuff. we play an electric guitar on an, a song that has an, needs an electric guitar instead of back in the day when we were playing everything through two <laughs> acoustic guitars and get an electric guitar amps. Yeah. Yep. And, yep. and sounding exactly like that. It sounded yeah. like acoustic guitars playing <laughs> yeah. through electric guitar. Right. Amps. Yeah. We were poor college <laughs> students. So Ben, That's right. tell us about yeah. Let's go. Yep. So uh, so next song up on the album, a song called Let's Go, um, and this was kind of a just kind of you know sitting in the house and and daydreaming about trips that uh, we didn't get to take as a family. Uh, we had a little trip going up to Boston. Um, we were going to go up to Boston and Acadia National Park, and then on into uh, Nova Scotia, uh, and then when this whole pandemic thing hit. Um, that obviously got canceled. Um, we do a little recollection. There's, there, there's the second verse. Um, uh, it, it mentions that that trip, and then there was another trip that um, that my family took down to the Keys, and then uh, Tracy and I actually honeymooned out on the Carolina coast. So you'll hear it's kind of a road trip song. It's um, it's a little bit about that, and uh, and just kind of wanting to to get out of the house and just get in the car and just go somewhere. That's kind of the setup of. Let's go. For months now, it's just been these four. Same old scene, same echoes down the hall.
ourselves from this ghost Take a drive on the Carolina coast Let's jump in the car and see Just how far we can go I love the pace of that song. I yeah. love the pace of that song. It just, just and it just I think it's that I think it's that kick boom yeah. boom boom just right on the you know just just drive and kick. Yeah, you know, I think that's the only song that we do on the whole album that's got like a drum machine kind of feel to it too. Right. Uh, and I know I'm, I'm more drum purist. I know you are too, but yeah. I think and, and there's plenty of that in there. But I think that just having that in there just pump 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 you know is is just is so solid. Um, I saw where Becky said something about it. loves the love the guitar solo. Um, uh, cool thing about that solo. So the first half of the solo is Winston playing the lead on that, and then the second half is me, and then Winston kind of, kind of comes back in. So there's like a, like, dual guitar solos mm -hmm. going on. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it was a lot of fun putting that one together for sure. Uh, and and Winston, you're you're low harmonies on that one. I wasn't expecting that at all when 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 uh, when the track came in. I, you said, hey, I, you know, I laid down the harmony tracks. Here they are, and. Uh, and and when they came in, I was like, "Oh, that's really cool." That that low end because yeah. it sounds like I mean, it sounds like just one of us, you know, until until it splits out. I think uh, just a you know, it really added a lot of a lot of depth to what was going on there. That was part of the fun of the project. Is like uh, I would create something, you would create something, we would send it to each other and say, "See what you can do with this." And and it was always a surprise. Yeah. You know, <laughs> when it came back, I was like, "Wow, I didn't think of that." You know, and it, you know, it was perfect. Yeah. Uh, I loved it. Yeah, I was. I have to admit, I was a little bit jealous when I heard that song. I was like, "Man, that's a good song." You know, it's like a good road trip <laughs> song. I was like, "Wow," and that's why yeah. I said, "Ben, you know, you know what? I hadn't written a song since the '90s." You know. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, and so and then Ben and I, uh, we'll hear a song in a minute that we wrote together. Kind of the first song we we wrote together back coming together in person, and it was like, "Is this gonna work?" Mm -hmm. and it, it did work. But yeah, I love the the dueling guitar solos. That was a lot of fun, and and um, I was inspired on the the drums. Like, well, I wanted the extra harmony in there because there's there's not a song on here where we're both singing like all the way through, you know, or most of the way through. Yeah. And I wanted that, but um, you know, I think of Billy Pilgrim Hurricane Season and that drum beat where they're just do mm -hmm. do 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 the toms, and I was like, I I yeah. want that that feel in this song, you know. So yeah, that second verse, that second verse, I really pop in there and and and. 
I mean, you know, they're, they're obviously they're in beat and they're in rhythm, but they're just in little surprise little pockets. And, and it's, uh, yeah. it's so much fun, man. When they're, yeah. When and that's where, in. you know, I mean, Ben set it up and he heard something on drums and I was like, I, and then when I heard that, what, what you laid down, I was like, yeah, I'm hearing this completely differently. Let me, let me take this and rework this, you know, and, and mm-hmm. that's kind of the fun of it too, yeah. is, you know. All right, so next for sure, set. and the col- oh, no, sorry, I was going to say, I'm going to follow up on that just real quick. I just want to say that that whole collaboration thing is uh, it, it stretches it stretches me for sure because I mean there's there are things that, that you'll bring and I'm like I don't know and then you know all of a sudden it's like yep it's it's working I didn't think it would but it it absolutely works um, you know and there's times when we can say you know we we trust each other enough to say you know that's not going to work and 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 we can we yeah. can put that off and it's yeah. it's totally fine that's uh, that's a beautiful thing about collaborating like that. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. What were you going to say, man? Set the next I, one I was going to sure. set the next song. Um, so the next song was actually the last song we did um, in the project. Um, and this partially because it took so long to write it. Like, um, <laughs> So, you know, I, I was kind of, I wanted to write a song about the idea of the cosmic Christ, you know, and that kind of thing. And, uh, and so I'm talking to Ben about it. And Ben's like, yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. And so we sat down actually at Ben's house. And tried to write on this song, and it was just like, and we both had, I was like, I got nothing, you know. Um, so it really took a long time to figure this one out, but I think where it, it lands, um, so Father Richard Bohr talks about the idea of um, order, like your faith process goes through order, disorder, and kind of reorder, you know, it's kind of the journey. And some people get stuck in, you know, they stay in one, and they don't move to the other. Um, so you hear people talk about, I don't know if you ever heard anybody talk about being, you know, a deconstructed, deconstructed Christian or whatever. And so that's really, I think what this song is about. It's kind of that coming out of that and finding that reorder kind of spot. So this one, um, this one's called flowing down. in a brand new light The evidence is all around The truth is hidden in plain sight What you search for will be found God's love is like water flowing down Always to the place an endless stream of joy overflowing filling every space we're the ones who overcomplicated and set up boundary lines but love will flow through all limitations by and by the divine is living deep inside Set up boundary lines The love will flow through all limitations By and by I believe in original goodness I believe there is still hope The love of God It is boundless And everything and everyone In this world Still belongs
So all that stuff I said about, yeah, all that stuff I said about collaborating, like the last song, uh, there was none of that um, lyrically in this one. Winston told me, and as you set it up, you said it right. You, know, you were writing a song about the universal Christ and writing a song about how God is within everything. And I was like, how, how are we going to write a song <laughs> about everything? Yeah. Um, and and you, you pulled it off and it was really cool. Um, there's a, you know, obviously my favorite part in the, in the, in the song, the, is is when it gets to that bridge and it just um it's the horns hit real big and then this but it's the lead into the horns it's that it's those toms that boom, 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 pow, yeah you know and that's that's oh my gosh when it hits and then your 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 you know vocals over the top of that are just crazy i love it i love sure, it i think the neighbors could hear me there because jamie's like way upstairs <laughs> and working or whatever when i was doing that recording that and she's like yeah i heard you i was like what in the world's going on because i just had to go for it you know and i love yep. that part yeah when it hits that crescendo and i mean my favorite thing is kind of the on the guitar and the bass and all that we're going boom 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 and kind of and then yep. you added those horns which yep. i was not expecting you know because that was one of those things ben came mm -hmm. in and added the horns and i was like wow that's pretty cool yeah. pretty cool so uh yeah for, for those of you who don't know there's a there's an artist he's out of uh he's actually local here um i think he's out of hueytown i know he's at an alabama guy matt jackson uh he's a christian artist and uh, worship leader and um his first self-titled album he used a lot of horns on his stuff and uh man it's it's crazy good i we do a lot of his stuff at the church and and uh, man it, and and i when i when i heard it i was like yeah that needs that that needs that touch yeah um, yeah nah, I, think it, I think it was good a lot of fun for sure. So this next one um, is actually the first song Ben and I wrote together since the 90s, or first song I even wrote a part of since the 90s. And this was where mm -hmm. it was interesting because we uh, I came to Helena to because uh, I had some time off this summer and thought, well, I'm going to come down there and let's see if we can get a few things done. And we worked on a few songs. And so Ben had this chorus, and we wrote this song, and this is where – it's like, do we still have it? Can we still do this? And it's like, yeah, it works. We, you know, I was like, I, you know, I was really pleased with it. So tell us about it, Ben. Yeah, so the, the backstory, this song's got a little bit of a backstory on it. So, um, and, and I'll try to keep it as brief as I can. But um, every now and then, uh, you know, we'll take off and, and go canoeing or kayaking or something like that. A lot of times my parents would go with us or my dad uh, was with us or, or goes with us sometimes. And, um, and anytime we go out, I... I this is one of the stories that I, that I've heard him, him talk about. And it has to do with my granddad, his, his father, um, where when he was a kid, my great granddad, so his, you know, several generations back now, my great granddad apparently was a moonshiner and had my grandfather, uh, kind of cart the moonshining, um, ingredients back and forth across this, uh, this Creek or this body of water or whatever it was. And dad always told me, he said, you know, they would load this flat bottom boat down where it was within an inch of the water, you know, just really close. And, you know, you got sugar cane and or sugar and uh, corn and all the other things that, you know, you're that close to the water. That stuff's got to stay dry to make the moon shine. So, um, you know, and it was kind of a you better get it across there dry. But, you know, and 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 uh, uh, or it was going to be, you know, heck to pay. So anyway, all this, you know, that that kind of happened. So, um so I, that picture in mind um, was, was kind of what started the song and kind of got us going. Um, I had already developed the, the chorus and the hook and that sort of thing, uh, or got us really close. And then Winston came in and like I said, we, um, we kind of collaborated on that. Uh, it's kind of to follow up on, on the end of that story. Uh, my granddad, you know, I never, I never saw him drink a drop. And I think it was just because, you know, after all this time of uh, being around that scene and, and, uh, and and you know, being threatened, you know, within an inch of his life on this whole thing that he, that was not going to be his deal. So, um, so anyway, that's kind of that's kind of the backstory of this. And um, you can say a little bit more about it, but I, I think the the picture in my mind is uh, as we were developing this was 
whatever it was, it was all in sepia tone. It was it was depression, post depression era, um, and and what was going on in the town around them. And I, I don't know. Kick in. What do you what do you uh, what would you fill in on that? Um, I was just going to answer Dave. Dave Bullington asked a question like, where do we start? Is it music or lyrics? And for me, it's always music. It's it's I hear something, and then I'll go, what is this song about? You know, and then I'll find the lyrics. Mm -hmm. Um, that's a great question I, and, and a lot of times I get I, it, the music drives me uh, whether it's um, to additional lyrics in this particular case uh, uh, um, I had the I had come up with the lyrics I didn't quite have the music down um, but I knew I knew kind of the style it needed to be and I think the style fits uh, the fits the story mm -hmm. um, and so anyway yeah well let's listen to it this is called whiskey dry Still on the other side of the creek Under cover at night We'd go there twice a week Copper red kettle fire and smoke Sure beats another road to hope Hard times call for harder liquor Cupboard is bare and mama's getting sicker Damn foreclosure by the bank Throw that bill right in the tank Good Lord building and the creek don't rise Flat bottom loaded down full of supplies Within an inch of the water Get it to the other side And you pray for that sweet Alabama rain When you grow your own corn and grow your own cane And you pray that boat moves straight along every night Lord let them boys get their spirits right By grace our spirits will deliver when we drown his sorrows in that river and If they catch you boy well here's the truth you Give the lawman a bottle maybe there's no proof if they confiscate your score Two days later you'll have some more Good Lord willing and the creek don't rise Flat bottom loaded down full of supplies Within an inch of the water Get it to the other side And you pray for that sweet Alabama rain When you grow your own corn and grow your own cane And you pray that boat moves straight along It's mason jars Sold it out of the trunk of the car It's our God-given right To get by in this life But the crops won't pay And the mills shut down It's a hard way of living in this old town So get that boat To the other side So I'll keep that whiskey dry
creek don't rise Flat bottom loaded down for the supplies Within an inch of the water Get it to the other side And you pray for that sweet Alabama rain When you grow your own corn and grow your own cane And you pray that boat moves straight along the line So keep that whiskey dry Keep that whiskey dry. All right, Ben, tell us about that. So that was a new set. That yeah, as I was gonna say, that was a new sound for us for sure. Just kind of overall, I think. Um, uh, uh, threw some banjo and some mandolin in there, and then uh, Anna Tyler, my daughter, on fiddle, and uh, your daughter Anna on vocals, who, by the way, just killed it. When I heard uh, that was one of those moments when um, w when we were back and forth with the files, and uh, you sent me the you know the, the late night text, hey, I added some harmony, and I was like, yeah, okay, I'll listen in the morning. Kind of you know that's where I was. Uh, I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and listen to it. And so I, I and did it and you uh the I think they're they're panning hard left and right too with you and mm -hmm. you and Anna on uh, either side. And dude, I mean when I heard it, I was like, Oh, that's that's good. That's good stuff right there. Uh, so that was uh yeah, that's that was, that's one of my favorites. I, I I love the story and um the instrumentation on it. I think there's a little bass move and I'm playing I play bass on on I think all the tracks and uh there's one little do, 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 that I hit in there and, and uh, it, I think it's it's fun every time I hear it on my that, that's you know well, um, I'm not trying to brag or anything but oh, it's kind of fun <laughs> <laughs> well you know I mean it's uh it's interesting I don't own a bass so it kind of worked out that way but I was like every time you would put bass down on a track I was always like wow I'm glad I don't own a bass because it's like you're, you're killing it you know and there's a couple of songs especially yeah, on the funny. second half of the album and it's like Ben's just killing it here it's perfect um so, yeah, when we get to that, when we get to that, I've got a story uh, next week because we're gonna do we're gonna do this again next week uh, for the for the B side of the album, and uh, I've got a story on one of the on one of the tracks that I'm I'm definitely gonna tell uh, on on myself yeah. about that uh, about that. Um, but Anna Tyler, uh, when she when she came down to record, and you know, she was like, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do you know preteen yeah. whatever. Uh, she's I you know. I don't, and finally, I'm like, just play these notes. This is not going to be hard. It's not going to be difficult. You can do this. Yeah. And um, you know, that little da 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 that she 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 plugged in it was real cool. I'll tell you one of the other parts that I that I really like is when you're on the slide guitar, which was a which was a, a brilliant move too. I thought that was cool to come in, but uh, you know, this is one of those little kind of tech geeky kind of deals um, that has to do with uh, uh, I can't remember, I can't remember the Mixing. phrase. Obviously, it's not I'm I'm not geeky enough. Uh, but but it's where you got um, you're kind of you come in kind of high with the uh, at one point and you slide it all the way down. When you pass the mid tones that are that are in there, the slide disappears. It almost kind of goes behind everything else, um, and it uh, and it peaks out on the other side on the low end, which I, I always get a kick out of. It sounds so cool. And and you were saying you told me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know what you. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. Haunting. Go ahead. That's what I want. I wanted that sound to be kind of, you know, haunting with the slide all the way. And I wanted you to hear it all the way down, you know? Yeah. Uh, but you were telling me, because one of my favorite parts is like, but right before this slide solo, you you kind of peek out. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it's it's there. It, it comes in before the the, the downbeat of the, you know, where the, where the yeah. solo is. I think, you, did you tell me that you were like, just trying to figure out where you were going to be with I'm just making it? sure I was in the right spot. Yeah. And then it was so perfect in the mix. It's like, it was one of those happy accidents. Cause that was like your, one of your favorite parts is when, when it kind of swells all of a sudden. And that's just me making sure I'm hitting the right yeah. note before I actually hit the note. Yeah. You know? It was, was like, get that boat to the other side. Oh, yeah. And then every time I was like, that is so fun, man. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, there are a lot of layers somebody can talk uh, about. Yeah. It was a lot of fun getting our, you know, our family involved. It's nice having talented kids. So, yeah. No kidding. Mm -hmm. No kidding. All right, man. Well, uh, I know we're coming to the end uh, of what we were going to do tonight. Um, one, the big deal no, is that away, uh, you know, yeah, we're playing song. this. One more song. No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely one more song. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, the the thing is that this is going this album the whole thing. 
uh, is actually going to launch next Friday, the 20th. And uh, Winston, where is it going to be available? It should be available like it's on like 80 different streaming services around the world. So Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, uh, Amazon Music. You should be able to find it starting, you know, first thing Friday morning, a week from Friday. So, so, so we are, we went from Tuscaloosa local to international, uh, and it only took us 20 years. Is that kind of the, yeah. all right, more than that, 30 years. Good gracious. All right. Well, set up this last one, man. Let's, uh, let's, let's give it a listen. All right. So, uh, this is sort of, uh, I think originally I thought this would be the last song on the album until Ben wrote a better one for the last song on the album. So this kind of is the la naturally for the last song of the first half of the album. And I kind of almost hear it like, you know, you know, I grew up in the tape era. If you had a record player too, it's like that last song that kind of ends the feeling of, of the first half of the album. And I think this one kind of fits that. Um, this one's dedicated to my friends, Andrew and Mary Catherine. Um, it's kind of a lament song. It's sort of a, a breakup song of sorts and I need to switch something broke here okay all right so this one is called bittersweet victory and I'm getting spinning wheel of death so this may or may not happen oh no yeah well the the bad news is my laptop would not do anything earlier today so let's see if I can get this to work um change yeah, I cannot change angles. This may be the first song on next week. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, okay, hang on. Uh, I don't know what to do, except... Yeah, 